Hello, we're back at Always in Stitches in Noblesville, Indiana. You know who it is, Dawn, of course. And I'm here to revisit um, a fabric collection that I showed last week or the week before or the week before, or, you know, sometimes in the past sometime. But uh, I wanted to show you these funny characters. We got some new ones. Had an applique on the uh, embroidery on the bellies because they unzip. And the little pouch comes out so you can put this part in a hoop. Oh, and they're so cuddly. I love them. My puppies would love them, too. So those are cute. But this is the uh, fabric I wanted to revisit. We have a little, it's called Little Critters. And we have a pattern. Free. F-R-E-E. -E, free. Free pattern. And it's really easy because this middle part is a panel. Let me show it to you. So cute. Remember, this is the one I was talking about, Bambi and the mother and, you know, all that. Oh, but yeah. I just love this. It's got that cute fox and the baby fox. Did you get it that the the deer has a baby? The Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah, see, the bear has a baby and okay. the fox has a baby. I have a question then. Where's the I, owl's baby? I see the baby chick, but where's the chick's mom? And the owl. Where's the owl's mom and the bee's mom? It's going to be coming maybe out next year. Who knows? Anyway, that's so cute. So, we couldn't stand it one minute we, longer. What do we have on the floor? We What's had this? to make a sample. We, What's this gorgeous quilt I see? We said, Stephanie, we need a sample. And Stephanie took the panel home. And look what she did with it. She made the free pattern. Isn't it beautiful? Here, let me fix this corner. Hold it up. Okay, I will. So we can see the quilting. Oh, yeah. It's oh, beautiful. wow. Did Cindy quilt it, you think? Or no, I bet no. Stephanie, Stephanie did. Stephanie yeah. did it on her long arm. Yeah. She used her long arm to do it. Yeah, she's our sewing machine manager. So, of course, she would have a long arm sewing machine. She does a really great job. Here's the back. Maybe see the quilting a little bit better. Now, if you can't hear me, turn the volume up because we're without a microphone today. We're just relying on my big, fat, loud mouth. So, there it is. Come in, get the panel, get the fabric, get a free pattern. If you move further away from me, I have to scream louder. I just wanted them to get the quilt. <laughs> I want them to see how big it is. Okay. It's a nice size. Okay. okay. Are we done with that? Yeah. All righty. We got so much new stuff in this last week. Of course, we were closed for a little while. We, Peter decided he needed a vacation. So when Peter leaves the building, we all have to leave the building because we just can't function without him. That's kind of the rule around here. Anyway, I'll fix that in a minute. But look at this. Oh, it's flannel. Flannel. It's flannel weather. So we got in some beautiful flannel. Of course, you know green, my favorite color, and then blends right with the blues. Oh, that's so pretty. And then come down here, Peter. Here's some browns and tans and creams and then orange. Isn't that yummy? Look at that. And it's so soft. It's made by, who's it made by? Henry Glass. Henry Glass. Oh, they do a nice job on their flannels. It feels so good. Yeah, really pretty. I made my husband a flannel quilt once. I wonder what ever happened to that. He's probably got it doing something fun, like sleeping under it. Uh, okay, let's come over here. Right here? Is this new? No, we've showed this yes. before. No. We've showed this before, haven't we? No, this no? is new. This is from Bitter Tex, and it's Daisy Chain. Is that right? color theory basics so it must start here with this black and white the grays and then it just transitions into all this tone on tone so let's say you have some wild florals or some uh, prints that are multicolored and you need a blender or you need a solid to comb the uh, calm the print down like look at this now see how pretty that is with that. This is some wild and crazy stuff from I don't know who. 
but just look at how you could just go along here and where are the blues here's some blue look look at that oh wow isn't that pretty and then right beside it look at that oh that's awesome then if it were mine of course you know what i'd add don't you green of course let's look at the green but before we look at the green let's just pop this yellow right on there look at how it just pops that yellow right <laughs> out so that's why i think it's called uh, color theory and i don't like that so much i really liked that blue one with it i like that pattern though on yeah it. isn't that pretty Oh, this pattern on this? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, very nice. It blends real well. Yeah, it is. It's a blender. That's what it is. So that's really nice. And then uh, here are some uh, wovens by, who did we say these were by? Contempo Studios. Contempo Studios. By Benartex. Mm, look at this. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but they're wovens. So what does that mean? Well, it means instead of being printed on fabric, the go through it's through. woven, and so it's printed. I mean, it's the same on the front as it is on the back. See that? Because the threads have been woven. So on all these, this would make a beautiful, this would just make the most beautiful shirt. Oh, my goodness. I don't work up front, so I don't know how they do this. Oh, they're just going to get after me for doing this. Okay, so show them all this. Okay. It starts here and goes all the way around. So look at this. Oh, so those are woven. They're the same on both sides. Oh, here's a nice little, you know, this buffalo check, or it's really not a buffalo check, uh, kind of a large gingham, this little gingham. Very popular right now. At what size does it become a buffalo check? Uh, probably big, bigger than that. <laughs> <laughs> Buffaloes are big. Buffaloes are big. I get it now. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how to do this, Peter. Just leave it up there. Okay, somebody will help me do it for me. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did you see the green stripe? No, is there more down here? Uh-huh. Look at that green I can't stripe. see anything because I don't that have one. my glasses. You have your hand on it. Oh, this one's pretty too, though. But this one's multicolored. Love that. Love, love. I'm not going to take it apart because I'll never get it back together. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That just makes the most gorgeous binding. Oh, Peter, I love that. I'm going to have to do something with that. Because just look at everything. Or you could sell, you could sell um, a pattern bag. Yeah, you I got just that got new that bag? new pattern bag pattern. Project bag. Project bag. Project bag. By Annie. By Annie. Good old Annie. And I just love that. That just, oh, that's yummy. And it's so soft. It's got a really nice hand to it. It doesn't have any hands, but when you feel it with your hands, it's got a nice hand. Okay. <clears throat> I've heard somebody say that. I don't really know what that means. Okay. Let's see. We've got some stuff over here. I hear that somebody's been waiting for this. Would they that have. be Julie? Yeah, Julie's been waiting. I don't know. Julie, come and get it. Julie's been waiting at least several months. This is Moda's new uh, Moody Bloom. Moody Bloom. So it's kind of moody. Oh, it's got metallics. <gasps> oh, wow. I'm not much for metallics, but that just really is mm, yummy. Delicious. Five, five metallics? Uh, five one, of them just two. Over five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, okay. Look at this black. So they added some metal. Oh, maybe that's navy. I can't tell because let me put my glasses on. No, that's black. Black. Yeah. I've got my glasses up on the top of my head because I want to see out of the top of my head. And it doesn't fog really up there. Pretty. This one is. This is like a watercolor. That's one of my favorites. Mmm. This is, a, I think, a new designer for Moda. I forget her name. But, uh, yeah, this is beautiful. Just beautiful. And back to those blenders again. You know, of course, the line has a, not, a, lot, a lot of nice blenders, too. Is this some of it down here, too, yes. Peter? Yeah, look at this. Yum. That's pretty. Another good project bag uh, 
This one's fabric. my favorite print right here. Well, let's show it, that okay? That one is my absolute favorite. What makes it your favorite? The blue. Uh-huh, is blue your favorite color? Now, is it the blue or is it this bluish green that you love this, the most? This, like, dark indigo yeah. blue. Yeah, mm. I love the way it, it's a watercolor print. Yeah. Look at this little splash right here. It definitely has been taken from a watercolor. Oh, that is delicious. Okay. Oh, now, Peter, I love this one. I think the colors are extra rich. Yeah, they are. Uh -huh. It's the contrast with that black yeah. background. And you know what I love is how these dots are not perfect. They're perfectly imperfect. And they're just scattered through, and that little dot of yellow makes just a good interest. Good impact on that. I love it. And there, here it is in the blue, Peter. Oh, look at that. Did you even see this one? No, I didn't see that one. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Thank you. Look at this one. Kind of little splotches of watercolor. Very cute. Very nice, like that. Okay. Is there anything else? Panels. Oh, panels. Right up the top. Oh, oh panels to this okay. line, of course. <laughs> now these are labels. Look at this. Labels for the back of your quilts. Oh, I didn't know they were labels. They're labels. Oh, cool. Handmade for you. Hold on, I me... made you this because I love you. Oh. Hold on, let me get each one. Okay, well, I'm going to have to drop. Drop it. Drop it like it's hot. Oh, I do. I made this because I love you. Didn't That's I just cool. say that? Yeah, I just saw it. Are your arms getting tired? Uh -uh. Don't you just love a little label on the back of a quilt that tells you exactly what it, you know, who it's from? Maybe the date and the year. I guess the date would include the year. Another thing that's nice on the back of a label is where you're from. I watched a video like what, this like what town you represent? Yeah, or state. I watched a video this morning before I came in on antique samplers, cross stitch samplers. And you know the ones that were dated was so interesting. He had one on there that was from the 1600s, late 1600s. And you know that was documented right on the thing. So, it's always nice when somebody comes and finds your quilt at the Goodwill that they know it was made in 1942 or 72. You know, I was born in the 50s and I graduated high school in the 70s and I was looking at something today that I had made right out of high school. It's an antique now. It's an antique, Peter. Something from the 70s is an antique. What oh, does wow. that tell you about me? Oh, wow. It's a sad situation. Oh, did you get a shot of my shirt, the embroidery on my shirt? That's my cute. friend, my friend uh, Donita gave me this shirt. She's lost so much weight that she couldn't wear it anymore. So she donated it to her fat friend, which is me. And I'm so happy that she did. <clears throat> so I wanted to show that. But here's the big panel. And it has just the most beautiful... Look at this. It's like a canvas on the wall. Oh, wow. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, there's nothing says. This kind of looks like the same size panel as that baby panel, does it not? It does. So why, nothing's stopping you from taking that baby panel free pattern and using no. it for this panel. Now, I would not put the baby flannel, I mean, the baby panel colors. I would use these colors with this panel. But isn't that just scrumptious? And then, you know, you could make this for your wife, Peter, and put one of them labels on there that says, I made this because I love you. And she would just be thrilled. I could. Are these her colors? I don't know if it, it might be too busy for her. Might she be. doesn't like busy stuff. Oh, really? Yeah, but man, that is pretty. I like it. Now, can I just give her the label <laughs> and tell her that I love her? Well, certainly. You don't even need the label. <laughs> uh, you know, a woman always likes to hear that her fella loves her. 
My husband tells me he loves me every single day. Okay, what's next? Is that it? That was a lot. Bees. We got bees. Oh, that's right. Now this is one of Peter's favorites. He's been waiting for this. And it's right here. This is Be Grateful. Love it. Love it. Uh, these prints I love. Deb Strain. Oh my goodness. She never ever disappoints. We have all the pre-cuts. We have the panel, of course. Look at this. Very striking. You can cut it up or you can just leave it like this. Do we have a free pattern for this yet? We do yes, we a, do, but we, we do didn't bring it. We have a free pattern, but it's um, back on Nancy's desk. That's right, that's right. It's a nice one, so you'll have to be surprised when you come in to see it. But isn't this nice? Now, what does it say right there in the middle? As sweet as honey. Oh, and we have honey. We do have honey. This really? is why we have honey. <laughs> this is it. Do not kill bees. That's what be it grateful. should say. The flower doesn't dream of the bee. It blossoms because and of the bee. becomes. Uh, that is so pretty. And we have three colors of the panel. Oh, we do? That oh, yeah. We have yellow. the creamy yellowy one. Oh, and two. then the Just light two. one. No, this is lighter. Look. Oh, they are lighter. See, there's that one and that one. Are they all the same? I bet maybe, maybe not. they're different. Let's look and see. It's so new, I haven't even gotten to look at it yet. I know it. Well, I'm we're seeing going to, it for the first time. We're going to look at it. Now, this is the same. Same. It's got that gray, that very popular gray. She does such a good job on coming up with different she, colors. Themes. She does. And uh, staying with the trends, you know? Yeah. Very nice. So get a close up of all those fabrics, Peter. This, for some reason, I really like the black fabric in this lawn. Because it's so stunning against that goldish yellow. Uh, like black and gold? Very striking, very Purdue-ish. Oh, I got you, like the black and the gold. Yeah. It kind of looks metallic, but it's not. It's just the intensity of the gold is so bright that against that black, it kind of looks metallic, but... Now, if you're into bees, we've got them. We've I know got them couple, right there. I know a couple quilters that uh, do love the bees. They'll go crazy over this line. Okay, and then if we have bees, we have to have a beehive. Oh, or what is hive? this called? Honeycomb. Honeycomb. This is the honeycomb. Surely there's got to be a bee. Oh, there's some. Oh, yes. there's some people that just love fabric with writing on it. Look at that. This is her actual writing. Yeah. This is her handwriting. And those are all her drawings too. Yeah, yeah, she's an artist. She uh, she does uh, lots of commercial work like uh, plates and greeting cards and stationery and you know, all kinds of stuff like that. She's, she's a very talented woman, so. Okay, anything else we got today? That card. Oh, quit it. Is Stuff that hasn't even stuff? gotten put out yet. Well, this is all new stuff. Uh -huh. This is a sneak peek into yeah. what's getting put out. This is the pre. This is pre next Monday. Ooh. Okay. Well, we probably shouldn't snoop in that. We could get into well, big that's trouble, Mister. Just a sneak peek then. Okay. All right. Sneak, sneak. Oh, thread builders. That's coming up. The thread I saw builders. Some stuff in the back. Okay, Thread Builders, if you don't know what Thread Builders is, it's a program by Orophil that we are sponsoring. And uh, no, Orophil is sponsoring. We're actually doing it. You get three uh, spools of thread, all kind of in the same colorway. And it goes for 12 months. So 12 times three is what, 36? Phew, that just came right out of my head. I am shocked. Okay, 36 at the end of the year. You have 36 beautiful spools of thread, and uh, they're just really beautiful colors, and they depict wildlife, endangered species, 
and you get a free pattern with the little collection. You also get a thread box, don't you? Oh, yeah. To store it in. Yeah, yeah a nice thread box. So it's a program that we have. Come in the store, and we have some information, more information on it. We have a little flyer we can give you. But uh, we have really been building our Aurafil thread collection here at the shop. So let's go over and take a look at that, okay? Let's go around because yeah, we'll go around. we don't want to disturb. Man, this store is getting redecorated. You know, we've never really uh, focused on the thread. No, we not. have pre-wound bobbins. Glide. What's glide? This thread here. Oh, what, what, well, tell me about glide. It's a um, polyester. Okay, and what would you use that for, Peter? For long arm quilting. Oh, okay. See, this is the one that Stephanie uses. She uses oh, thread to do on that, that quilt. sample that we just did. Okay, that's why I know nothing about it because I'm not a long arm quilter. I do use a cone, uh, but it, I use Orofil. Then we got our serger thread. That's that. Yep. All that. And it comes in a bundle of four because most sergers take four spools so that makes it nice and convenient but here's our orafil thread and of course you can see we do have the nice cone and it's quite expensive but it lasts a long 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 time uh you get a, a good value for your money on that and then i don't know that if you guys know this or not but it even comes in variegated isn't that pretty i do have some questions okay variegated What's a good application for variegated sewing thread? Top stitching, quilting. Let's say, for instance, you've got a quilt and there's not a yellow or an orange, but it's something in between a yellow and an orange. Look, you've got a variegated yellow and orange. So like for the bee quilt, would you use something like this or uh, something that, like that? That would be the wrong color for the bee quilt. Like this one here? Uh, very that would be okay. That would be okay for the bee quilt. This guy, it seems like it has all the colors in it. Uh huh. It's got that black, so yeah, isn't that pretty? Yeah. That probably is a good choice. So look, we've got all the way from purple. Can you get way down there, yep. Peter? Sorry, yeah. I did the box. I got it right here. Okay, so we got the purple all the way. Go. Oh, look at that teal. Oh, yum. Oh, now look at this, Peter. Now this would be something that you could quilt a quilt when you couldn't make up your mind what color. You see, you look at the quilt I and you say, you, I think if you use this thread on that green woven, yeah. you would never see it. <laughs> no, you would never see it. So anyway, then we got green all the way yellow and then into the reds and the pinks. And of course, this section is really popular right now because we're getting ready for what? Valentine's Day. Oh, Valentine's Day. Did I have to remind you it's going to be Valentine's Day soon? What are you getting your wife? I'll have to ask her and see No, what don't wants. ask her. Surprise her with Surprise something. Her. Yes, don't be asking her. Don't be getting her no vacuum okay. cleaner or anything her? like that. Don't email her. Don't email her? No. I think what would be best is if you just got some roses and a box of chocolates or whatever she likes. Turn around here, I want to show you the uh, all the uh, Lori Holt stuff that we have. We're rearranging the shop, I guess. I don't know what this is all about. Got her new project bag, and it's a biggie. Um, these are her alphabets. Band-Aids. Don't you all need some Lori Holt Band-Aids? Those yes. are so cute. Yes. Now, I think these are kind of fun. These are her planner pens. Look at all the colors. There's all the warm colors. There's all the cool colors. Nice. Nice. I'll tell you what's been the most popular thing, and that's this right here. This is her tumbler, her uh, insulated. You know, it keeps your beverages hot if you put hot in there and cold if you put cold in there. I'm going to open that up this so you can see that. so fast, the first order. I know. We had to. I know. Look at how pretty that is. So I have a question. Oh, you if always you do. A, if you have an embroidery machine, uh -huh. could you embroider a fancy design, put a magnet on the back, and then stick it to your tumbler and personalize it? I don't know why you couldn't. You know, you could even make a wrap and just, like, put Velcro on it and then wrap it around. 
for like your hand wouldn't get cold or hot when you held it. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. So, um, let's see. This notebook, I brought, I bought myself one of these notebooks. I saw that. Did, I mean, it wasn't even off the cart yet and you bought it. I know, because I think it's so pretty. And, you know, so many patterns are downloadable these days. Uh, and so, especially with cross stitch and stuff. So I'm going to keep all my downloadable patterns in here. And I'm going to put a little thing that says cross stitch, uh, quilting, uh, wool applique, and anything I download off the computer, that's what I'm going to keep in this. That's actually a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. And it comes, I don't know if you know this or not, but it comes with three of these zipper pouches. Oh, I didn't know that. So if you have little parts, you know, to your pattern, and like templates? Yeah. That you cut out? Yeah. Pretty nice. Or a thread. Think? If you use it for cross stitch, you can tuck your threads in there. Right. Great for a project bag. And here's some of her templates for the vintage housewife quilt. These, these templates are super nice. Oh, wow. Yeah. All the different shapes for, for her housewife kit. Vintage housewife quilt. These are all the shapes she uses in oh, that kit. That's awesome. Yeah, she has one of these for all her books. I didn't know that. Because when you applique, uh -huh. you have all those uh, shapes. Let me find some. Well, this one's all pieced and doesn't have any applique on it. That I, I, the newest one though has lots of applique. Oh, it does. Where is it? Oh, this one. Look, look, vintage Christmas. Like, look. I can't find any applique on there. Not that one, but the newest one. Where is Prim the newest Stitcher one? or something. Oh, okay. We may not have gotten it yet. Okay, we may not have it yet. But anyway, we're pretty set for uh, Lori Holt. Anything else we got that we need to tell them about? I haven't been here for a week. I haven't been here for oh, a week. Oh, that's right. We're just we're just running by the fly, by the yeah. seat of our pants. We took our party on the road. Yeah. Brown, that's Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah, let's, let's just wander back here and see if there's anything else we need to talk about. Okay. You know, here's all of our specialty novelty fabrics. Now, you were asking about Buffalo Check. I believe this would fit the bill. Right that's here. not a gingham? No, it's the, that's pretty big. I think that would be a Buffalo Check right there in the nice red and black. That must be a... Uh, Wide back. It's 108 inches, so that would make a nice back. It's a big boy. It's a big one. Here's some uh, oh linen that we have in. Okay. Oh, beautiful! Lots of new patterns, of course. Oh, that book that was real successful that we did in one of the videos, Easy Peasy Three Yard Quilt. Yeah. There's a couple other books that we have that are um, three yard quilt pattern oh. books. One, two, three. So we have three new books. Okay. Well, here's one too, Easy Peasy. That's the one that we covered in that the last video that yeah. did well. Yeah. And here's a modern view. So yeah, she's got quite a little collection of those. Okay, new books. I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. Let me look here. Hmm, nothing sticks out to me. But we've got a good selection of books, that's for sure. I'm gonna get that book wall too. Okay. Right this one over here. Yeah. Table runners. Table runners. Table runners are really popular right now. Oh. You know what you can do with a table runner? You can make it a little bit bigger and it can be a bed scarf. Say that again. Uh, you can make it a little bit bigger, uh -huh. a table runner, and it can be a bed scarf. A bed scarf is What's where... What's a bed scarf? Okay, I'll tell you. A bed scarf is when you have like a, a really plain... Um, covering like duvet cover, duvet. Is that another French word? I'm telling you. <laughs> I must that sounds be, French. I must be reading the French dictionary or something. Duvet, or uh, how about a, a, a white on white chenille? Something very plain and and uh, just very simple. Is it going to the bottom of the bed? And then the base. You, come in, you come in with a scarf on the bottom. That's like a big, long, skinny table runner. Uh -huh. And put it on the bottom and jazz it up a little bit. But instead of making an entire big quilt, one for every season, you can just have a scarf for your bed. 
they do that in very high-end hotel rooms, but I wouldn't know anything about that since I stay at the Holiday Inn because they have those nice cinnamon biscuits. So, uh, well, that's, that's fancy. That. That's fancy. Schmancy. That's fancy. Yep. Anything new in cross stitch that you know of? We should probably wander through okay, wool and cross stitch. Okay, let's do. Here's wool. You know, we got our. I thought we there were, was something new in punch needle. Well, we were out of punch needle uh, needles that's what for it was. a while. That's but what it was. We're we're back in stock with those. Okay. Is that pattern new? The house. This is not new. That's a, my very first one I did. Uh, this one might be new. That's it. That's new. This I one might be new. new one. I got this frame at the Hobby Lobby, and it's one of those that just stands up. It. Uh, God, look at that beautiful coloring. Isn't that fun? I love the uh, the backing, the back. That took a lot. That took about eleven skeins of floss right there. But it was worth it because it's very pretty. I'll be. I'm all ready for uh, say uh, for Fourth of July. You almost said St. Patrick's Day. I did, Day. I did, didn't I? <laughs> you know what? Your favorite color is green. I know, and I don't decorate a lot for St. Patty's Day. Huh. Come over here. I've been wanting to do this one, but I've been working on something else, so but I've been, I've been oh, wanting to do that one. Oh, my gosh. That would be awesome. Now, you punch. might think that this is a uh, fabric back here, but that is needle punched with a uh, floss that has little sprinkles of blue in it. Wow. Or gray. That's cool. That Isn't that neat? Awesome. I love that. And uh, let's see, oh, this is pretty funny. Do we have any Valentine's e Day ones? For a needle punch? For needle punch? I feel like we do somewhere. Okay. Oh, I know what we got new. Look, if you've never needle punched before, here is the What's starter. That? Well, you gotta wait. Okay, I'm waiting. Starter sampler set. So it gives you four little patterns that help you build your skills. So that's kind of nice. I, I like that. That's nice. And then after you've built your skills, you can do this one. What's below it? And then there's this. What is that? That is a medallion. Isn't that pretty? Joyful garden, it says. Jeez. Isn't it pretty? All this is needle punched. All that. It's just so pretty. Goodness. So pretty. And then look at this new book we got in. Yeah, we did have a lot of new stuff for Needle Punch. This oh. is our new modern. Oh. If you think Needle Punch is just for primitive people, it's not. Look at that. This is using yarn and a big needle. We have one of those needles here. Tells you how what kind of fabric to use, how to stretch it. But look at that. Oh, look at that. It's a very modern, clean look. Now that needle punch project bag is really cool. Yeah. Creating a different textile and yeah. being able to sew with it. Look at this, is sculpting with the needle punch. You do it all the same height and then you cut it to go like that. Isn't that something? So you shear it? Uh-huh, like a sheep. Yeah. Use your razor. I noticed your razor hasn't been getting much use. No, I lost it. I think I lost my razor. Oh, no. Maybe you'll get one for Valentine's Day. Well, it's convenient with the masks. Uh-huh. I love this Rebecca. Now we're in oh, the wool yes. department. Yes. Her I love her gorgeous. patterns. Uh, let me get some glare off of that. How am I doing? Awesome. Okay. That is fun. Her patterns are just so pretty. They remind me very Pennsylvania Dutchy. Know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, I love that. Okay, let's come over here. We haven't talked about embroidery for a while, but we do have a huge selection of embroidery uh, books and patterns. Look at how fun that is. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh, that's fun. That is unbelievable. Let me open this book and see where that is oh this is beautiful oh that's so pretty Valentine's oh there it is oh now see that might look hard but that's just some basic stitches 
like a lazy daisy stitch. That's just a chain stitch. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I love that. Needle, it's a needle book. So anyway, we have a lot of good selection <clears throat> embroidery. That book's new. Here's, this is a new calendar. Look at that gold oh, work. That's awesome. Isn't that something? So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a new book. I tell you, this is one of my favorite books. And they have two volumes. We're going to have to get that second volume in, okay, Peter? Okay. Because this book is just the bee's knees. It is so many good illustrations showing you exactly how to do the stitch. This seems like this is volume two. Is this volume two volume or one? one? The one. Okay. Well, definitely a lot of information in this book. And this one's new. Oh, yes. Yeah. Is this kind of like a calendar kind of thing? No. No. It's you a, know those flippity a, calendars, yeah. but it's not that. It's a guide for doing crazy cult stitches. Heck, let's just open it up, okay? Yeah, let's do it. Tear into that puppy. Turn your volume down so that you don't hear this, but then turn it back up. Here, I'll up. step away. I'll step away from the step scene. Step away from the tape. Okay, here we go. So it's one of those that sits up like That's this. What do. And then it has 180 stitches and combinations. Look at that step by step on how to make the arrowhead oh, and it has stitch. What the finished stitch looks yeah. like. Yeah. And then it gives you the little instructions. And then it gives you the left so, hand and the right hand, Peter. What? Now, what book does that? This one. Yeah. That's cool. Isn't that neat? So, if I want to teach my, my left hand how to stitch, I could? You could. Oh, that's cool. Look at Ask that your right hand if it will teach your left hand how to stitch. <laughs> okay, there's the Bradford Rose. Oh, wow. I've never even heard of some of this stuff. There's the Chain Rose. This is done with ribbon. Look at oh, that. that's beautiful. Chain Rose with ribbon. I've never seen that before. Oh, there you go. Love that. But the illustrations are very good. And I just love that it's left-handed or right-handed. I think that's pretty, pretty amazing. Let's My husband's left-handed. You know those left-handed people, they get shorted Let's out. Just put that on display. Just put that right here. What am I supposed to do with this? We'll put it underneath the book. Okay. Oh, look, right here's one. So, yep. yeah, it should be on display. Yeah. This is a new kit. Okay. Oh, yes. This is a new kit. It has, you can't really see the cute buttons. Let me get this out. All oh, those buttons are cute. Look at that. Aren't those sweet? And they go on the pattern here. Do we have a sample? We're getting a sample We're made of this. We're getting a sample made. Virginia. Virginia! Get that sample made, dear. It's, she made it. Where is it's it? It's in processing. Oh, processing. Yeah, it has to be logged into our inventory. Okay. Which means a form has to be filled out. Forms are filled out and filed. Okay, that's nice. This looks nasty, so we'll just do this. You know, we like things to look nice around here. We don't want you to come in and think we're a junky store. So, here's some embroidery new kits. So, yeah, we've got a lot of embroidery. You don't really think of us as being the embroidery uh uh, capital of the world, but we're pretty close. Pretty the embroidery close capital of Noblesville. <clears throat> there you go. I like that. That's a good one. Of course, you know, we've got cross stitch. We've talked about that. We've got our yarn and we've had lots of stuff to our clearance because, you know, pretty soon it's going to be spring cleaning. And uh, so We've got to do some spring cleaning around here, so that's got, good for you. We got a new crochet dishcloth book and new cotton crochet on. No way! Uh huh. Because I knew you were going to ask. Yeah, I was going to ask what's new in the yarn department, Peter.
Here's the cotton yarn. What do you mean? Here. Right here. These colors for just cloths for the spring. Oh, right here. I was looking at it up here and I thought, that is not a dishcloth. That is more of a clean your floor kind of a thing because you put them on and then you scoot around on the floor. <laughs> you put a little soap on the bottom. <laughs> well, if you put soap on the bottom, you definitely gonna slip and hit your head. <laughs> Okay, so this is that sugar and I've seen this before, yeah. sugar and cream. We got a lot of people I love asking that. for the sugar and cream. I love this green one, variegated. That is very pretty. And Peter has them stacked up so nice here. He was working on that this morning. And that little book. And where's the book? Bottom left-hand corner. Dish claws. Look at that. Yeah, those are some fancy ones. Great for learning all the different crochet stitches. And it's crochet. It's not knit. Most of them are knitted. They're all crochet. Oh, that's nice. I can crochet better than I can knit. What else did you see with new over here? Something else? Uh, that was it. Oh, okay. So the yarn in the book. Nice. Okay. Remember our uh, applique quilt? I think maybe I didn't... We didn't talk about the wool. Uh, we do have the kit here. We had people asking if there was a kit. Yeah, last and time. right there it is. It's everything you need for the appliques. Then you pick your favorite shirtings and your favorite background, which that gray is kind of the perfect one. And it looks to me like it's some kind of a linen. It is a woven. Woven. Okay. And here's the pattern. And they did theirs on a dark blue. I like the gray better, don't you? I love this gray. Yeah. I mean, the quilting just, it just gives it so much dimension. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. This needs a bigger stand for some reason. Okay. We haven't talked about the clearance. Okay, clearance. And probably, I don't know, since the first video. Okay. So people may not know that we have a clearance. Here's our clearance. We have somebody shopping our clearance. You can be in our video. We don't care. <laughs> I'm going to kick you. <laughs> there is some good stuff here, Peter. Oh, look. Here's some stuff with sheep. Patriotic. Patriotic sheep. Patriotic sheep. Here's some Civil War. What's this green doing in here? I'm going to have to have some of that. Here's some gray gingham. Kind of a taupey gray gingham. Very nice. And then we've got zippers and all kinds of stuff. My goodness. Some knitting needles. Patterns galore. Some kits. Wow. So everything back here is 40% off. Is that right? Uh-huh. And then cross-stitch patterns and kits. Look at this. Look at all this. This is awesome. You know, you can buy this just for the bead pack. Isn't that something? Oh, that's such a cute little house. Oh, look at these cute frames. I hate, how come I don't ever shop back here? Because <laughs> you didn't at, know it was back I here. I guess not. Look at all this cremic. Wow. That'll jazz up your uh, stitchery right there. So I'm going to have to, after work, I'm going to have to come back here and sneak a peek. <laughs> Still got some Christmas fabric, Peter. Yes. Look. Of course, after after the video, we won't. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be gone. I never even saw this out on the floor. They hid this from me. I think that's really pretty. Now, are those reindeer or whippets? I think those are, I have no clue. They look like whippets. What's the difference? I don't know. What's a whippet? Whippet good. That's a song, isn't it? Uh huh. Yeah. Cardinals are always a favorite, you know. This looks like it has. Yeah, some metallic in it. That's really pretty. Boy, wouldn't that make nice uh, um, placemats? That'd be a pretty placemat uh, for your table. Oh, Melissa Melissa wants that crochet book. Well, crochet the uh, pot the holders? Cloth, yeah. Okay, let's go get her one and yeah. put, her, put her name on it. She you... said to hold it for her. Okay. Melissa I... Go, G-O-A-D. But, but if I hold it until you get here, I won't be able to work. <laughs> I've got it, Melissa. Here you go. I'm going to hold it. 
<laughs> this whole time your I'm just going to stand here and hold your it. Your arm's going to get tired. <laughs> I'll be right here no. in this spot. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Peter will put it up here behind the counter, okay? Looks like, Peter, you've got a... Oh, here, or should I go up front? No, you can go right here. I'm done with Peter. So you can have him, okay? Oh. <laughs> All righty. Thanks for visiting. We love you. Bye.